When I was growing up, people didn't really talk about miracles. I'm not sure I understood what they were or if I believed in them. A miracle is defined as something not explicable by natural or scientific laws. But then how do you explain it? How does it happen? Who or what is behind it? good for a six-year-old. Your brain's still developing. It sucks being six. You should watch your mouth, Adeline. You know, you could go to hell for swearing. I'm not going to hell. Hell is in California. Who told you that, Adeline? Liz Johnson from school. Is she the one whose parents think that Disneyland's the work of Satan? That's her. Well, no one here is going to hell. Unless you girls get your clothes dirty. How many times have I told you not to play outside in your Sunday school dresses? Sorry, Come Mom. Sorry, Mom. It's all right. I'll just pretend you're not mine. Hey, Kevin, I have to tell you not to play outside before church, too. Get cranky in the hunger, baby. You know that. <sighs> yeah. Grab my sweater, would you, honey? OK. It's quarter two, hon. We're going to be late. Relax, baby. We're good. We got to get you changed. Don't you worry about it, baby. I got it all under control. Oh, well, it's not shirtless Sunday at church. Come on, <laughs> girls. Abby, Adeline, Anna, let's go. Go on, get in the truck. Your mother's stressing out. <laughs> You look pretty. Thanks, Daddy. Come on. Take after them all. So, do I look handsome? Or fetching, maybe? Hmm? Buckle up, girls. Let's go. Nothing, really? <laughs> all right. Tough crowd. a common phrase, no pain, no gain, and it is, of course, attributed to the sculpting of our bodies. <laughs> but the same principle can be applied to the sculpting of our character and the deepening of our spiritual life. So when the road gets bumpy, when uh, the storms rain down, I could do a few things to protect myself. You know, I can get a nice... Uh, Nice helmet. <laughs> yeah. And we might be able to find ourselves an umbrella. Just happen to be there. <laughs> now that that's open, uh, we better make sure that our insurance premiums are paid up, too. So we can get an umbrella. And we can get a helmet. We can get insurance. But there's one thing that we need that can't be seen and it can't be bought. 
and that is faith. Faith is really the only true shelter. Amen. Thank the Beams for opening up their home for our monthly picnic. You're so good. Remember, sign-ups for the trip to the Dallas Aquarium are this week. Not next week, this week. And finally, anybody who has an animal or who has a friend with an animal or a family member who has an animal or you are an animal, your husband, who you want to get out of the house for maybe a little bit of time with a, you know, some air conditioning and a bowl of water, take him over to see our brother, Kevin Beam, who has just opened the largest mixed animal clinic in Texas, okay? Send everybody. Send everybody in their animals. We'll be praying for you. We'll be praying for you. I do not even want to know what you paid for that. Oh, more than I care to think about. We took every bit of equity out of this house so we could open. Christy. Every bit of equity. You agreed to that? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, no. I could not let Travis do that. I would not be able to sleep at night. That's good for you. Good for you that you're doing that. Any prayers you want to share? I'm 13, Mom. I know. Almost a grown-up. Okay. okay. I prayed that I make the Fort Worth All-Star team. Oh. Because I have the second most goals on the team, so, you know, I think that I at least deserve a trial. I'm with you. <laughs> hey, Cooper Nugget. Hi. Bedtime. Say your prayers. Share one. That I can be older than Abby and Anna. <laughs> and I pray that you'll change my name to Taylor. Well, I wonder how that's going to turn out for you. Come on, Mom. I love you, Adeline. I pray that Daddy's business does well. Mm -hmm. And I pray that he can bring home some more dogs that don't have homes. Oh, can you cancel that part? <laughs> we have enough dogs. Anna. Too late. Oh. It's already been sent express me. Hey, how do you like this? Love. Me too. <laughs> I think I'm going to spend a lot of time there, enjoying baguettes and freshly ground espresso. Hey, let's do that together. Paris would be a good mother-daughter trip. Oh, count me in. I would love it. <laughs> I love you, Anna. I love you, too. Sleep tight, ladybug. Okay, good night. Good night.